Body is the first version of the open source desktop environment that uses a numbering system. Now compared to the previous version 3.38, the all new GNOME 40 brings a major visual changes to the user interface. Hey what's up guys, KSK here, welcome back to this video. This is the first look at GNOME 40. Now in this video, I am going to talk everything about GNOME 40 and its new features. So make sure to watch this video until the end without missing anything and don't forget to subscribe this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified. Let's get started. Now as soon as you are done installing GNOME 40, this is the fresh brand new look you get to see. It's beautiful and amazing. Now one of the controversial things of GNOME 40 is the implementation of horizontal workspaces. You know, previous versions of GNOME have a vertical workspaces, which is sort of weird that I feel. You know, whenever you're accessing the desktop pages that are aligned vertically, it's sort of disturbing the user experience. Now that being said, GNOME 40 has simplified the easy way to access the desktop pages. Now these desktop pages are aligned horizontally and it's very very easy to jump between these pages. Now take a look at horizontal desktop pages aka workspaces in GNOME 40 which is very easy to navigate throughout the system. With GNOME 40, the gestures have been taken care of much better than before. The laptops with trackpad have received a brand new gestures that let them navigate the system with simple gestures that indeed speed up the workflow. But thanks to the brand new gestures, you can either use a mouse, trackpad, or even a keyboard to quickly jump between workspaces easier than ever before. For example, with a keyboard, by holding Alt plus super, plus left or right arrow keys, switch through the workspaces. Now similarly, holding alt plus super, plus up or down arrow keys, reveals the apps feature along with all workspace previews and app launcher. You can also replace the arrow keys with a mouse if you want. The combination of alt plus super and scroll button on the mouse switches between the workspaces which is much faster than the keyboard. With GNOME 40, the dock is now located at the bottom. The brand new dock has received a new update. It now holds a space for two separators. Now, As you can see, this is a separator. On the left, the applications are pinned to the dock, and on the right, the applications are not pinned to the dock. Now, what I meant to say is that the non favorite applications that are pinned to the dock are separated from the favorites. The GNOME 40 ships with the brand new app launcher that is now easier to get into and more customizable and more intuitive to navigate with the mouse. To access an app drawer, you can click on the Activities Controller from the top left, which reveals the immersive look of the workspaces, and at the bottom, clicking on the App Grid reveals the App Launcher. Now compared to the previous GNOME versions, GNOME 40 brings a brand new system animations and transitions that are more refined than ever before. It's fast and renders every frame properly without any lag that is a crystal clear to the eyes. Now take a look at this. On the left hand side, you see Ubuntu running GNOME 3.38 and on the right hand side, Fedora 34 Beta with GNOME 40. 
Now check out this. Whenever I try to access the app launcher on older GNOME, you can see the revealing animation is sort of weird and on the right hand side, the brand new GNOME 40 is faster and quicker while launching the application menu. Now also throughout the system, you may notice a lightweight animations on GNOME 40 that makes the whole workflow faster and better. Closing and opening transitions are crazy fast, and while using a gesture to navigate throughout the system is simply astonishing in GNOME 40. Thanks to GTK4 framework that has deeply integrated with GNOME 40 brings a major visual changes to many pre-installed applications and redesign from scratch that brings a lot of details to the application. Now applications like Maps, weather, web, and files have received the biggest changes. Now inside settings, GNOME 40 brings a new features like composing key, easier shortcuts, and better Wi-Fi settings. Now speaking about compose key, sometimes it's very difficult to type a special character using a keyboard like the ones you see on the screen. Well, with composing key, we can eliminate this problem. For example, I have configured this character to be printed whenever I hold the right alt plus letter C and O. Now, holding it all together for a half second will print this character. Software has had a number of improvements for GNOME 40. The large application banners have a new and improved look and now cycle automatically. The new version history dialogues display the recent changes for each application. The updates logic has been updated to reduce the frequency of reminders. Now, be it a flat pack or other distribution packages, GNOME 40 software now tells you where you are installing your software from. Now overall, I would say GNOME 40 brings a distraction-free desktop that fixes so many issues and makes the whole user experience hassle-free. Now as of now, GNOME 40 is now shipping with Fedora 34 Beta and OpenSUSE. So other distros like Ubuntu, Manjaro may soon adopt this brand new desktop environment and will be released as soon as possible. Now if you want to try out GNOME 40 right now on your PC or virtual machine, check the description down below. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. So if in case you like it, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I upload a new video. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching one more time. This has been KSK Ryle. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.